Infinite Tarot 888. His message is for Aquarius. Now you can have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Aquarius, this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. Now let's get into your reading, man. Aquarius. Man, this fuck, this light is bright as hell. So something is going on. It's almost like you put the light on something. Or maybe you just got this aha moment. I don't know. Let's get into your message for Aquarius. And it's your birthday, baby. Happy birthday. You know, before I got, if you go to the Libra reading, it was dark in here. I was like, damn, I couldn't even, even see my teeth shining. <laughs> Anyways, happy birthday, Aquarius. And to all the Aquarius, man. You little fucking lovebirds. Damn it. Okay, Aquarius. I don't know why I'm here, but leave the drama for their mama. Not your mama. Their their mama. See, because I just, I don't know. I was dancing in here, moving this energy, you know, and wanted me to break dance. So some of you guys, look, you could be with the Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart. And the sun, these are upside down. Or I mean, uh, the other way around. In other words, look. So you may be dealing with the Capricorn or somebody that wanted to hold on to your finances. And look, there's a Cancer here. A Cancer. That's your one set. Oh, no, that's that's Scorpio. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer, a Curtis, and a Leo. Maybe this was a lot of options you might be dealing. Or, you know, Curtis, you were dealing with somebody <laughs> that might have... Hmm. It's almost like they wanted to treat you like an option, or they were, or this could be you. These cards are all screwed up. They had your life all screwed up. They had you in conflict. This is in the past, so this came out. You might have found out about this person, that person, this person, or maybe that was you. But when I heard, leave the drama for their mama, not your mama, their mama, it's like you might have just took yourself out of the equation. And you said, you know what? A la chingada. Fuck this. I'm going somewhere else. And you're looking and look. <laughs> you looked one way. You said, man, I don't want to go that way. And then you look the other way. And you say, you know what? Fuck it. I got the world in my hands. I'm going to go this way. And you might have been on top of the mountain. Were you not with Libra? Because Libra was like in the mountains or something. And somebody's heavily looking at you. Or this could be you. Of course. <laughs> So if this is somebody looking at you, Aquarius, it's like they're watching it. I'm here pocket watching or they're watching you get blessing after blessing. Now, this could be the other way around or somebody you're dealing with. But Aquarius, when it comes to love, you might have told this particular person. Now, let's let's go. Let's go. OK, they're saying like this. If in the past, alguien te bajó la vieja o el viejo, if somebody took your man or your woman, you didn't even fight. You didn't resist. You were on your journey because you saw the, I'm going this way, I'm going that way. I can get with this. I can get with that. <laughs> Aquarius, for some of you guys, I'm telling you, somebody played themselves when it comes to you. Now, I'm talking to my Aquarius that, uh, that when it came down to a situation, because it looks like love. Or it could have been a work situation. Let's say it was a work situation and maybe your partner took off with this other partner and they teamed up and you were the one with the pinchy cabeza and the pinchy brains. So, me entiendes? You was the one with this energy. Well, you said, all right, you want to play them games? All right. And you stayed in this energy because some of you guys may have cancer. In your chart, and you just was calm, collected. I'm talking to somebody with their emotions, you know, just chilled. Now, in the beginning, it might have put you like this, but mm -mm, I'm hearing your father, el papá, papá Diosito, God, the universe already had told you this. So I'm hearing some of you guys told him and warned him, look, this particular person, because some of you guys were already on your spiritual journey, going right or left. You still was not deciding. You told them, and they celebrated. Chinga. <laughs> and it might have been around COVID, because I'm hearing you were gone for two or three years, whatever. And they might have celebrated a little too soon. 
I'm here and too soon. Because this one fell right underneath here too soon. It's like, yeah, okay, you might have just sat back and they... Now, Aquarius, for a lot of you guys, you knew the karmic wheel was going to turn. Da -da 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 or something like that. And you knew you would be in this energy. Why? Because it's almost like this energy. When you were sitting right here, and this is you that is connected with the universe. God, the universe is like, look. I don't know why I'm getting the mountains are here in the story about Isaac, you know, where he had to sacrifice his son. So some of you guys had to sacrifice your family. You might have told them because the four wands is here. That's crazy, huh? And you really stayed in this energy. All right. Some of you guys really obeyed the universe because you knew this was coming. And it wasn't even that you were, you might have not been doing it for the coin. You were doing it to break a generational curse. You wanted justice, you know, for your families, your ancestors. That's why I feel that your ancestors are the ones that are fucking dancing with the three of cups, you know, and Chinga just, because I was dancing earlier. So you have a past loved one that could have been watching this whole thing go down. But there's something about this karmic wheel. See? Oh my, oh my. Por qué tanto pinches problemas? How many problems? Yeah, somebody from the past. It's almost like they got exposed. But anyways, let's let's get it to. That was your reading. And some of you guys, I don't know if you guys want this back, because uh as I was entering the room. <laughs> yeah, I had but right now, and that could be you guys, you know, you probably have somebody, you know, waiting for you. But look, there is the Ten of Swords in Libra. Libra, are you dealing with the Libra? Or maybe you have Libra in your chart. Aquarius, you stayed focused. Even though this Ten of Swords might have been on your back, you still hold on to the mission. And for you, like I said, a lot of you guys were breaking generational curses. So in this Ten of Swords, as you traveled, you understood the process. You showing up right here, mm -hmm, man or female. Some of you guys <laughs> didn't have, y'all might have left in this energy without nothing. You know, they didn't have any calzones. You didn't even have underwear, nothing. You just had to go, you know. And some of you guys had to rough it out. Some of you guys might have lived in the woods for a while. Man, it's sad, but. What you're not expecting and what you knew God's promise was, and this is for the ones that are connected with the universe. You knew that after this mission, this, this phase, it's, it was hard. Some of you guys, like I said, y'all had to live off the, the woods, you know, maybe you guys were homeless and, and it really put you in this energy. It really hurt you. And it pushed you to trust in the universe because you knew that was, this was coming. And the person that they didn't get away with it. Look, they're running straight into the emperor. Somebody seen them. Now this could have been their parent. Like I said, leave the drama for their mama. <laughs> so they were running back, but they're also getting karma. See, because look, I want the truth, but nothing but the truth. Why did you take, I'm telling you, this has to do with some, something with work. Maybe they took your ideas. Your ideas, you know, and it has to do with work. If they might have took your ideas, if it had to be with the baby, because there was a lot of people here. It could have been an argument, you know, with two families clashing together. Now, for some of you guys, you warned them about this particular person. And, and Aquarius, you're going to get justice. And your justice is probably just moving on. Um, if you were in separation... It could have been that, look, this card fell out and it was upside down. It, you couldn't get any rest. You didn't get any clarity when it came to a home, you know, but you called just uh, justice. You called judgment. And people are starting to see. So you didn't even have to say shit. Some of you guys, like I said, all the universe wanted you to do is stay steady. So that's why you had to be out the picture for a while. Now, let's see. What do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, anywhere in your chart? And if you were dealing with the Libra, oh, Lord. 
there's something about love in there. So maybe you were, but. Mm -hmm. All right. Before we get into that, they want me to pull one of these. One of these. Spiritual as fuck. Because. You know, ya cayó. So somebody right away is realizing that they fumbled the bag when it comes to you. Huh? Maybe they're dreaming and the spotlight's coming up. And if it's you, you uh, of course. You don't even care. They can put the spotlight on you. You ni madres if you, you just, whatever. It says right here, be kind-hearted as fuck and full of love, but maintain boundaries like a motherfucker. That's what it says. Excuse my language. Lord, please forgive me. Look, it says right here, letting people fuck with you is not a spiritual attribute. Think about a Archbishop Desmond Tutu, however that said, that dude wouldn't have done the good shit he did in the world if he let people walk all over him. Even his holiness, the Dalai Lama, tells people to F off, sometimes in his own compassionate way as fuck. So some of you guys like fuck you with love, baby. So some of you guys, this particular, this, this incident. This incident, they might have took your love for granted. They might have took even your advice for granted. You might have, they might have thought you were crazy, Aquarius. And some of you, you are a little bit crazy. But you might have told this particular person. Look. Whatever, you, whoever you're dealing with, when it comes, if this was a love situation, if this was a, 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 cause it said something about work. So they might've stole your ideas, but it's not you. It's not you. So no lo pueden hacer igual que tú. They can't do it just like you. Some of you guys, you just gotta chill. You gotta hold on. Look, now they want me to explain this real quick. Cause this card came out. When it comes to you right now, this is almost like the universe already letting you out. The, you know, you're learning your lessons. You're looking back. You're not repeating cycles because some of you guys, you might have been hooked on this person, man or woman. For some of them, you might have caught with another, you know, and you told <laughs> your man or woman, that dude is kind of like this, but they didn't listen. So, you know, some of you guys are laughing your ass off. It's like, okay, the universe said, déjalos, let them learn on their own. And for a lot of you guys, I don't see you very jealous, you know? You just go as go with the flow. And you're understanding. <laughs> this particular person didn't want to listen to you. Either. They were warned too. But you just, the universe is saying that you had somebody very spiteful. They were jealous. For a lot of you guys, you were supposed to bring this particular person, but they didn't. You know, they didn't. They couldn't see, you know. They had temptation somewhere else, and you might have warned them. Now, of course, you're not, you're, you're not the, don't put this either. How could I say this? You weren't that innocent either, but you're very faithful to God, and you, you repent. You repent is what I'm hearing. Look, the universe finally got you to focus on your priority, and you did. You could be dealing with the earth sign, particularly a, a Capricorn or something like that. You know, they wanted you, you were carrying these, but <laughs> they won't, they're, they're telling me you, even if you laugh through this process, your ass was still crying, man or woman. You had a lot that you had to carry. If you dealing with an Aquarius, I'm here in Capricorn, you might've been dealing with the Leo Venus or um, Aries or something like that. And this particular person maybe had the same issue. Maybe they were dealing with the same problems. It's almost like, um, cause you see the balancing, man, that is crazy. It says the night of ones, this right here. And you guys were on, you guys are on two different, two different, um, timelines is what I'm, I'm hearing. See one of you, one of you guys, this is the night of coins. One of you guys is like on a bike. Fearless is what I'm hearing. And the other one just had other burdens. And if this is you, Aquarius, you're being asked to let go of what no longer serves you. Let go of the past. Forgive. Let go and forget. For some of you guys, you have to forget. No estás chingando que, oh, I'm going to never for, I'm going to forget, but never forget. No, the universe is telling you to drop that shit. It has better plans for you. So a lot of you guys, 
if this is you and this is not your partner for some of you guys, once you start to let go of what no longer resonates and they're saying that, like really forgive with love. Don't try to hold that fucking knife right there ready to slash. Nah, leave it alone. And you're going to start to go through obstacles like this. Okay? Because when you do that, look, Ten of Cups is coming. Love, loving complete. Mm -hmm. And if you were dealing with a Capricorn, look, this is the devil. They can't even look you in the eye. They could be clubbing, indulging, and they're like, fuck, I really fucked over my Aquarius. Me lo metia, me lo... I don't know, but I'm channeling that. But for some of you guys, some of you guys are running away from this particular person. Or you had the strength. Which, don't be lying, man. You Look, you're running straight into what? To your queen of coins, peaceful, abundant. And then you have the king of cups. So some of you guys may be dealing with the water sign that's coming towards you. All right, so... In love, once you drop this situation, you have you have an earth sign coming to you or a water sign. Yeah, because look, you have the empress nurturing. This particular person is going to nurture you. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. This energy is potent. Man, I'm telling you, some of you guys could be in this energy. And I'm telling you, this keeps coming up. It says the nine of swords. Reliving past trauma. No chingas. I hope this is not you. Put it in the comments. No, I've already dropped everybody. I'm by myself. You don't need this. You don't need that payaso, that payasa from the past. Come on, man. So some of you guys, when you start to get in touch with the universe, God, and you start to really just forgive and let go. Because some of you guys are, you could be still stuck in the mountains, in the wilderness. Yes, wearing the same fucking underwears for four days, five days, damn. And that ain't that ain't crazy. Some of you guys, you've been going through circles and circles. You need to make a priority. You saw where to focus. Let the past go. You're just listening and going in circles. No, make a plan, a goal. And like I said, some of you guys are going to say, I'm leaving the drama for their mama, not even yours. You know, you're going forward. Some of you guys are getting new beginnings. You're going to be stepping into this energy once. Because yes, you're learning. You're in this phase. Some of you guys hate to fucking read. Put an aisle or something. But this is you trusting the universe. God. You can see the sharks right there. And then in chinga. Some of y'all can't even swim. Put it in the comments if this is you. Because you're just afraid of... Some of you guys got... <laughs> some of you guys got memories where you got stung by a jelly... Jellyfish, I don't know who for the whoever this is, but it scared you more that they had a piss on you. <laughs> they had a pee to hurt you. I don't know, but this is you with this with God, the universe carrying you. This is you healing your inner child wounds. You, yeah, you you got these swords, you got your trophies, but now you're looking back and you're releasing that pain, and you get into the eight of wands and you start to accelerate quick. And some of you guys are going to be like, damn, I can't run that fast. But look, you're almost there. Tim and Dennis, you're almost out of this stagnation. Look at all these. Coffee, coffee. Some of you guys need to get some freaking sleep. But you're balancing. And for a lot of you guys, this patient balance. <sighs> Calming of the mind, the brain, the heart. After all this, man, it's crazy. Yeah, somebody might have fumbled the bag. I don't know. There's a... You've already crossed. You made it halfway. Don't give up. You got love coming. Some of you guys have an amazing love coming. It says lovers. I can't say that word, you know. I don't know what it says, but I'll let you read it. It says right here. Sepa la madre. But anyways, you got good love. All right? It's coming towards you. It's coming like fast. You don't even see this coming. For some of you guys, it could be somebody around. And look. It says right the king wants. Now, this, this could be this could be a, a fire sign. Air and fire. No, hombre. Pedotes que se va a echar. No, hombre. On fire. Look. This particular person, you might look at him as the hero. Maybe the hero of your life. 
You know what I'm saying? Or something. There's something that you're going to like. This particular person has, he's dependable. It says goal orientated. I don't know. Nowadays, you know. But anyways, he, he will have some goals. You, you, Aquarius, he might even, you might be like, what the fuck does he do? Because you won't know. He's always out and, and about maybe helping here, helping there. And you're going to be like, damn. I don't know, but you're going to enjoy this journey. You're going to love it. What are we at? At 20? Okay, we got to go. So you're about to, when it comes to love, you have that. And career, what do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart? Okay, we have one. Look, you got the same thing. Some of you guys are still looking towards the past. It says the, the Six of Cups. Hmm. And you're looking at that film, what I used to do. The universe has something different for you, but you're you're still fighting it for some of you guys. No, don't fight it, because look, some of you guys, the queen of swords, you're thinking, you're being very strategic, just like an air sign. But the universe is telling you to let go, like have some ending. Some of you guys still want to hold on to the past. Yes, look, but you're about to let it go no matter how much it hurts. And this could be, this could be just the person you used to work with, the one that took off with the other one. <laughs> Some of them, they might be looking back because now you're starting and I'm telling you, you had all the ideas. And look, this is what it comes to, to your career, which is granted. All you had to do was hold on and trust to the universe. All you had to do. And look, for a lot of you guys, this situation getting... Um, Hmm. It, I'm hearing they might have played victim. For a lot of you guys, if you know, it might have hurt you and your reputation a little bit or, or your confidence, but even if you had to start from the bottom, Chinga Sumare, look, you got your coin there, you got your suitcase, and you healed your inner child. So, Aquarius. The big difference that I see here is your success is going to come to you easily and effortlessly. Put it in the comments. Claim it. Two, two, two. When I said that, baby, rewind it. And, and Google that energy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That song keeps coming. To, to, I'm telling you, I was dancing it at uh, Lose Yourself to Dance by Dad. Some of you guys are going to be dancing for joy. Look. This is your closing card. The Magician. You're manifesting. Make sure you're on the right side of karma, okay? Because if the other person, if it's the other way, if there's a cross watcher in here, you're going to know. You're going to know where you stand. But guess what? If you follow the universe, hold on, they want me to give you a couple of these. It says right here. Are y'all ready? It says 2 Corinthians 7, 6, 7. Mm -mm. I ain't reading it for you. You got to read it yourself. <laughs> There's a message for you right there. And look, and it, this is regarding your blessings. 1 Peter 3, 10, 12. 10 to 12. This is about your gifts. About how the doors are going to open. Proverbs 18, 16. Okay, Proverbs 18, 16. 16. So that's what I got for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment, baby. Claim this energy. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Infinite Tarot 888.